THC art was approached by the curators of Imagine Brazil in 2013. And when I received the email, and it was just a humble PDF, I took a look at these works and I thought, there's something very interesting happening here. And I was compelled to go see the show in Lyon, which is its second iteration. Um, and I was struck by the conceptual rigor. This exhibition also offers us an opportunity to think about a curatorial strategy. Um, it's because Brazil is such a huge country with so many different regions, what was really amazing about the curatorial approach was a strategy that they called the rules of the game. The curators invite the artists also to be curators. Um, it's a kind of strategy of inclusiveness and it puts an emphasis on collaboration and play in order to really underscore the heterogeneity of Brazil. Given the vast terrain of Brazil, how do you even start to uh, talk about the various artistic scenes, um, consider the, the history of this country, colonized uh, by Portugal, slave trade, uh, the, the, the indigenous population uh, used up in the trade of Brazil wood trees, utopian modernism, the then dictatorship which lasted almost 30 years, uh, and now its uh, emergence as an economic power. And what does that do to an artistic scene? Um, these were all the kind of crazy things that were going on in this exhibition and one of the reasons why it was important to bring it to Montreal. I felt that Montreal would really be receptive to an exhibition like this because what we live every day is a, also a kind of heterogeneity. Um, we live in, with, and through all these different strands of language, culture, and history that makes a kind of um, a tangle, but a beautiful tangle. So what my hope is, is that people will engage and connect with the works in this wonderful show.